How significant is this new data for Novo Nordisk? Well, it's been cited as one of the key catalysts for the company in terms of potential upside in performance. Victoza becomes the second diabetes treatment to demonstrate a cardiovascular benefit in a large outcome study and the first GLP-1 agonist to do so. Notably, Sanofi's Lixumia previously did not demonstrate a similar benefit, so this would appear to reinforce the notion of Victoza as a superior product. Data from the leader study is also important as it will protect Victoza's market share potentially from Eli Lilly's Trulicity, a competing GLP-1 agonist which is dosed less frequently. Key opinion leaders are extremely positive about Trulicity, but cardiovascular outcomes data for Lilly's drug could be three years away. What impact could this have in terms of interaction with payers? Well, while other companies have been keen to compete more aggressively in terms of rebating in the US market, Novo Nordisk has staunchly refused to follow a similar strategy with some of its diabetes products. Comments made by the pharmacy benefit manager Express Scripts last week show how challenging the environment now is. Novo recently released data showing that its insulin traceba is better at reducing hyperglycemia rates versus the current market-leading insulin product. And even though analysts think the data is better than they expected, Express Scripts has been quite dismissive of the notion that this data would be sufficient for them to significantly improve access. I think while it's too early to go into details, it's safe to say that by demonstrating Victoza is the first GLP-1 agonist to show a cardiovascular benefit, however, Novo Nordisk should have more leverage with payers with this data. Novo Nordisk is developing a follow-up compound to Victoza. Does this data change the company's priorities? The company was asked that on Friday. The next generation GLP-1 agonist it's developing, a drug called semaglutide, is effectively a more potent version of Victoza. The suggestion from management is that there's no reason why the newer drug could not also demonstrate the same cardiovascular benefit in a similar setting. Significantly, Novo is also developing semaglutide as an oral drug, and if this reaches the market, it could be a major breakthrough, particularly if the cardiovascular data was also to stack up.